working the service. Okay, so uh, this is Jason and Jennifer, and we blew a tire. You can see the skid marks next to Jeff's rig down there. And it was not just any tire, it was the right front tire, which is the worst tire to blow, because that one uh, could come up through the floor on the passenger side wheel well if it shreds. But it didn't shred, luckily. And also, we've been uh, driving uh, on all these really curvy roads fairly quickly, and it waited to blow on a straightaway, which I can only describe as miraculous. So, uh, yeah, very, very lucky, counting our lucky stars. And we've called roadside, and now we're waiting for them. I would change it myself, but um, I just, uh, the RV sits too low whenever there's no tire, and I can't get my jacks down. And I have a bottle jack, but there's also not enough, uh, you know, the ground isn't hard enough for the bottle jack to lift this beast. So we're going to wait, see what uh, tow truck shows up for us. Okay, as a follow-up to my last video where we had this shredded tire on there that blew going down this straightaway on Highway 50 west of uh, Buena Vista, Colorado. I know that's not how you pronounce it unless you're a local. Um, but uh, the tow truck just left, but he, uh, he had to go get another truck. He's just one guy on this whole road. <laughs> so he uh, went and got a van with an air compressor and a bunch of other equipment and I don't know, it's been like two hours. I got bored and changed it myself. So, uh, what I did is I uh, took the blackjack, put it up under here, right here, and that's a bottle jack. And I got it just high enough to where the hydraulic jack would come down all the way. And then I used that to lift up the frame. And then once I got the axle high enough, then I put the bottle jack under the uh, spring mount there, which is usually what I do whenever I'm going to work on the brakes or anything else. And once I got that, put a board with the bottle jack on it. Then I could get the uh, axle high enough to where I could take the uh, bum wheel and tire off and put my spare on. And I had just finished torquing everything whenever he showed up. But super nice guy. And... Uh, he also used the air compressor to put enough air in it for me because it was at 60 and it needed to be at 75 or 80. So, anyway, <clears throat> and then uh, Jen wanted me to show our spiral staircase because this is so high off the ground that her like four foot two frame couldn't get, I know she's way taller than that, uh, she couldn't step down. So I got this out and now we have a switchback staircase. So, gonna put all this away and then we're gonna get going. <laughs> 